you know, in her own home, uh, then you would have understood that statement. But my parents were shaping the souls of those who would do great things for God in this earth. And they were very careful about the way they spoke to us, encouraged us. We got correction. This is how God operates with us, okay? He operates with affection, instruction, and correction. And if, you're, if you are about to have children, you should write those words down. Because you not have a well-rounded child, whether it's God's child or your own, if you don't use all three of those when you're raising them up. Affection, correction, and instruction. If you have one that you leave out, they will not be a balanced person. You can't just use correction and instruction. They'll never know what it is to love people. They won't expect love, and they won't be able to give love. If you, if you use affection and instruction uh, and leave out correction, they'll think the world owes them everything. And this is, well, this is directly from the father. Uh, I was having, you know, getting grandchildren from my daughters. And so God said, I'm going to give you a tip list for them. And if they operate by that list, then they'll never fail raising their children. He said, this is how I raise all of you. And that's how he deals. That's why we get correction. Is that right? We get instruction. And does he love us? So this is how he operates with all of us on the earth. And guess what? Even in heaven... He still has affection, not necessarily correction. You do get some instruction. If he wants you to learn new things or understand new things, he'll actually invite you to come in to meet with him. It's exciting. It's not a bad thing. I've seen him. He actually has a boardroom he goes into where he shows plans. He'll call believers in to be a part of his plans. They get so undone they could even walk to get in there. You know, and here he's got his big book open. He has them all sit down, and he's sharing all this stuff. And he'll go, what do you think? What do you think about that? Because remember, he says, come, let us reason together. That is part of his MO. That's how he operates. He wants to do things together with us. Well, you better get used to that because in doing this manifesting and demonstrating, he will probably meet with you or catch you up and meet with you to give you revelation along with the instructions. So once you have revelation in you, everything comes alive. The plan makes sense. You'll know the results of what will happen. You get detailed revelation because it's coming from him. That's how he operates with me. And I only share what he shows me or I say what he tells me. And when you begin to live like that, everything that comes along your way, you will judge according to the spirit. And your flesh will still be here, but it won't have much of a voice. Because your flesh is what? To walk in the spirit is life, but to walk in the flesh is, you don't want that. And in these days, God, right? Because that's your opinions, your rights, your own thoughts, even if they argue with God, that's the flesh. That's what gets crucified. Take up your cross. He hasn't done away with the cross. People don't talk about it anymore. You better, because you know what? The blood is